Hey everyone, Socially Nina here, and today we're talking about Canva's content planner and how you can schedule your Facebook posts, Instagram posts, and Pinterest posts. Today, actually, we're just gonna be talking about Instagram, but you know, whatever. Um, but before we get started, a couple of things. One, I'm Socially Nina. I support coaches, consultants, and creatives in their journey to create a stronger brand using brand marketing techniques. That means creating a strong brand by using content creation and video marketing strategies strategies. So if you haven't run across this channel before, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell because I give you tons and tons of tutorials. These are dedicated to beginners or people who are just not so techy and want step-by-step, -step, extremely detailed tutorials, okay? Now that that's out of the way, if you have been coming to my channel over and over again, I love you and I appreciate you following me and thank you for all the suggestions for this video. So. Before we get into this, let me just tell you a little bit about this content planner and then we'll get started. So it is a content planner, not a social media management tool. What does that mean? If you're looking at a social media management tool, you're gonna get analytics, you're gonna have you know, things to repeat the post. You know, There's just a lot of things that go into social media management tools. This is a content planner, they named it correctly. You are able to create your graphics and then schedule it and then make a copy and maybe schedule it somewhere else, resize it. So we're gonna go through all of those, but I don't want you to go through this thinking that this is you know, a replacement for a social media management tool. This is for those who are just getting started or who don't have time, or maybe you have one person on your team and I'm gonna show you, it's not really made for teams, but I'm gonna show you a little hack on how to work with someone um, and have them in your Canva account and have you approve posts before they go out, okay? So now that that's said and done, let's go ahead and get to the techie stuff. Oh, don't forget, there's timestamps below so you can jump through if you want. Anyways, let's go. Okay, let's get started in Canva. And I am going to head over to the content planner on your left hand side. Keep in mind that if you don't have Canva Pro, you will not see this. I will include a link below that gives you a free trial. It is an affiliate link, but go ahead and do that. Sign up and follow along. All right. So as you can see, I'm not currently using Canva for my social media management. However, we are going to start incorporating this into our plans. All right, so this way is super duper easy if you already have your graphics designed or if you're doing it on your own. I'm simply going to click on the plus on a day. You can start from scratch here, but since I already have my designs, I'm gonna start, these are my recent designs, or I can go to your projects. Now keep in mind a couple of things. If I go to your projects, there's a search designs. This is searching the designs and not the folders. It's taken me so long to figure that out. So I do have a social media post folder, but I would have to scroll all the way down to it to find it. When you search it, it's actually searching the actual designs. So I'm going to find my design called Brand Marketing Squad Invitation IG. So I'm just gonna go ahead and click on it. Now this is something that I created. It was slides, right? So it's multiple graphics in one and it actually included hey, some everyone. video in there. So what I do love is that you can include video when you're posting to Instagram. Now I'm gonna go ahead and select a channel. Notice I have Facebook, Pinterest. I'll include separate videos on that since each one is a little bit different but I'm gonna select my Instagram business channel. So if you do not have a business account, you will not be able to use this feature. Now you're just gonna simply need to convert your Instagram to a business account. I'll include my blog below on the steps you need to get more views and to set up your business account and also a link with instructions on how to do that. Now, once you have that set up, I am going to just find my Instagram account. One more thing, one more note. When you convert your Instagram to a business account, you do have to link it to a Facebook business page because Facebook and Instagram are the same company and they connect your business. Whole nother story. If you have questions, leave it below. Maybe I can do a video on it. I don't know. Anyways, let's keep going. Assuming you have a business account, you've selected your social media account. What you're gonna make sure and do is select the date and time that you want to post. So I'm just gonna select a date and time and I'll just go ahead and click on done, right? 
Now you have the choice. You can do a JPEG, meaning each of these will only be everyone photos. need a year. Right, and then, I'm sorry, and then that one won't be the video, I believe. I should probably test that. Or you can do video to make it one video. So I'm gonna leave this um, as MP4, and I am going to include all pages. Notice you can include whatever you like. I'll just copy and paste the post, okay? So I'm gonna do this, copy, paste. Make sure you include your hashtags. If I want to schedule it, I can schedule it or I can save it as a draft. I'm going to go ahead and save it as a draft just so you can see that it has this little pencil here. So now I'm going to go ahead and schedule and save. Notice it does say draft at the top and it will change as soon as it's saved. Notice it no longer has that pencil and it's no longer grayed out, but I can go in there and change it back to a draft if I need it. I don't know what the error is for, but. Or if you need to delete it, you can click on it and it's kind of weird. You click on the date and you can delete. And I've deleted the post. So that's a quick and easy way to do it. Now let me show you if you want to kind of plan it out and or you have someone that is maybe writing posts for you and you want to approve the post. It doesn't really have that feature, but I have a workaround. So this is how I would do it. So I'm gonna create a design from scratch. And of course we're doing an Instagram post, super duper easy, right? I'm not gonna use these templates. What I do is we have um, designers on our team that design these graphics. We upload them to our social media graphic images on Canva, and then we can use them anytime. So all I have to do is click on it. And of course, these are not separate items, you know, like Canva where you can move it around. These are our own personal graphics. And usually I have my PM or assistant or someone come in here and create the graphics. So in this case, it's already done for me. I just have to add the text. Keep in mind that if you haven't set up your pro account, I would suggest you go in there, add all of your text, your colors, your, you know, social media images, all of that. So I can say, hey girl, hey girl, and we'll say drink more water. All right, and then I'm just going to, I'm rushing through this because you guys don't really need to see the designing process. In fact, I'll fast forward this part. Okay, so now that we have the graphic done, here's how I would do it if I need somebody to kind of send it to me. They can actually just copy the link, right? And you can have them send it to you in Teams or google chat or a spreadsheet or wherever you use and then what you can do is when they send that to you when you have comments you simply click on that and say let's move this i don't know let's use another font right comment and when they're done they can check it um, so you can go back and forth and do different comments, right? I can also right click and comment. So if I have something specific, I can say, let's use another font here, right? So it gives you very specific items. So if you're going back and forth with a team, that's a great way. Now, after you're done with this, there you go, three dots. And here I'm gonna go to Instagram business. Click on social Nina. And Okay, so my post is in there. I have my hashtags in there and now I can schedule. I am going to schedule this for tomorrow. And let's do it at eight ish because I know my audience likes that even though I'm not up at that time. And so I'm just going to go ahead and schedule the post. And I love it, it's done. So again, this is a quick and easy way and it gives you a space to go back and forth with your team. It's not a full social media platform, but it is a content planner and it assists you because you're able to create the graphics and make copies of it, edit it, resize it. So if I want to now make this into, let's say a Pinterest post, I can use the same post. So I can go in here and then I can make a copy and resize. And I'm gonna do that in the next video.